Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can integrate Keploy into our GoChi application. So in our sample application, which is a Caesar Cipher encoder decoder, here we have already imported Keploy's Go SDK as well as the in Keploy's integrations for GoChi. Now, in our main application, here you can see we have included integ uh, an integrated Keploy into the GoChi router. So now, in order to get the test uh, test cases recorded, I'll first need to start the Keploy server. Once my Keploy server is up and running, I'll first set the environment variable to record. Once this is done, I'll simply run my application. And once my application starts, I'll be making uh, API requests and record the test cases. So first of all, I'll make a post request to encode where I have sent uh, the sample message and a shift. Once I do this, I get back the data and at the same time, I've already recorded a test. Similarly, I'll now make a get request with the required data and I get back the a message hello and also i've again recorded the test cases now if i go in the keploy directory i'll see that i've recorded both the test cases and if i look into this in detail i'll see that it was whatever we had passed the, re the request and the response and the environment for it now let's run these test cases to see whether it can test our api or not to do so i'll simply copy this command from keploy's documentation and once the test runs i'll be able to see how much of code coverage i got so i got an impressive 83.3 percent of coverage and i'll be also able to see which test case is passed or which fail in my Keploy's console here. Now, let me make a small change in my API and let's see what results we get. Instead of uh, sending this as a string, what I'll send is I'll simply send something like hello. So once I've done this, I'll once again run the test uh, using the same command. And now I should be able to see that I got some test cases failing. So here you can see that the what actual value was, what I got, and what actually the value should have been. So here I got a message as hello and here I got hello, hello. So Kepler was able to successfully detect that change and it was able to point out where the exact where the error was and it gave me back the response in the Kepler's uh, console. If you want a more clear and a more detailed inspection of how what failed or what passed, you can go into the test reports folder and there you'll be able to get a detailed report of the test cases that was run. So this is all from my side on how you can integrate Kepler into your Gochi router. Hope you have understood it and thank you.